Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here today to show you how to make this soft watercolor butterfly background using the April 2020 Kit of the Month from Unity Stamp Company. I selected a few different of the um, butterfly images from this kit. There's so many lovely ones. Um, even though I pulled off four, in the end, I only end up using three of these. And I'm using a little bit of purple tape just to put on the reverse of this to hold it in place. I'm using a bamboo cutting board just as something to keep it all flat. Um, I could tape around the edges, but I wanted my images to go all the way to the sides. And then I'm just using a wide brush um, just to dampen the paper. This is good um, arches, watercolor paper, nice high quality. I didn't want standing water on the watercolor paper, but I did want it slightly damp. And then I kind of dried it a little too much, so I missed it a bit more water on and then kind of blotted off any extra. But basically, I just wanted that paper damp. That way, as I stamp this with these distress inks, um, because they're water reactive, they're going to kind of just soften and blend ever so slightly. I didn't want them to bleed all over the place um, and lose the detail of the butterfly image, but I did want it to have a really soft, um, just a soft look, and I love the way the colors react with the water. The three colors of Distress inks I'm using are Cracked Pistachio, Shaded Lilac, and Dried Marigold. I just kind of thought it was a fun, um, springy color combo, and as soon as I stamp all the main images in the center, I'm kind of stamping some others just kind of off the edges a little bit too, just to almost give the effect of pattern paper um, so that the image is continuous instead of just filling in full images over the main part of the paper. All right, once I'm done there, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly clean off these stamps and move them out of the way. And then I'm gonna keep these clear blocks here and I'm gonna smoosh my ink pads in the same colors onto that clear block, add a little bit of water with a small brush, and then I can add some splatters with the same colors. It'll kind of color coordinate the splatters to add um, a little bit of texture to my background. Nothing much, but it's just, it adds to that watercolor effect a little. And especially since I kept these um, images detailed enough and they didn't bleed all over the droplets, kind of help add a bit of a whimsical feel to it. All right, once I have those all done, I'm just gonna peel that tape off of the back to get that out of the way. You could set this aside and just let it dry naturally. I was a little bit in a hurry when I did this. I was running behind. So I decided to go ahead and set it with my heat gun. If you do that, it's good to kind of switch back and forth between the front and the back. It'll help um, your watercolor paper end up a little more flat than it would if you only dry from one side. All right, now my image. This is from the same uh, April 2020 kit of the month. And it's such a beautiful image and so perfect for this time. And I already have it stamped on some vellum. I went ahead and uh, folded it over around the back so I could adhere it from the back and tore that right edge that you can see there for a bit of texture. And then you can see how it kind of pops up. So I just grabbed my um, small stapler and just did a little um, crisscross pattern to hold it in place. You could add some jewels or a bit of ribbon to hide a bit of adhesive behind there as well. But I wanted to keep this nice and clean and simple. All right. Now I'm just gonna adhere it onto my white card base. And then as a final finishing touch, it felt like it needed a bit of framing. So I grabbed my super fine line Sharpie marker and I'm just freehand to keep the sketchy effect. I'm just drawing a simple line around the edges. Nothing uh, glamorous, no ruler needed or anything. Just a simple little line right around those edges. And that finishes off this simple and soft card. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day.